According to Forbes, Musk, the CEO and founder of Tesla and SpaceX is the most innovative person in the world for the consecutive second time this year. And that is very clear of the unbelievable success he has achieved in business. Ten years ago, people considered him a reckless man with extravagant ideas. In 2008, his company Tesla collapsed during the financial crisis. Now Tesla is one of the most successful niche car companies in producing electric cars, all due to the fact that Elon Musk persevered and was determined. He has done what was thought to be impossible 10 years ago, but he has no plans of stopping soon. He has many innovative and wild plans for the future of mankind, which would improve the quality of our lives. Elon Musk believes that day by day, the technology is only getting better and better. Things are developing so fast that the future might be filled with exponential tech advances that would change the world. In the future, we will have video games so realistic that it would be difficult for us to tell the difference between games and reality. From self-driving tunnel networks to brain-controlled computers, we're going to look at how Elon Musk and his technology will take us forward and creating the city of the future. Ellen says that we always want the future to be better than the past. A future that is exciting and one that the people would want to live in. A few decades ago, a lot of technological advances seemed unimaginable, but today they are our new normal. Life without them is unimaginable. So let's look at what would Elon Musk's city of future look like. So how will we get from one city to another in Ellen's future city? It's hard to imagine being able to fly from New York City to Shanghai in 39 minutes or from Sydney to London in an hour. But this is something that Ellen and SpaceX are working on. Ellen compares space rockets to airplanes, saying that if you do not reuse a plane, it would cost up to $250 million to fly one way, but because we can reuse them tens of thousands of times, it becomes affordable. The same is true for space rockets. A SpaceX rocket costs about $57 million, and if the rocket is reused a thousand times, it nearly costs $57,000 per flight, and by carrying people, we can get the price of a rocket flight down to the price of an economy flight ticket. The Starship rocket is being developed to take people to Mars. It can also transport people from city to city. In a 2017 interview, Ellen said that he is working for this to become a reality in the next 10 years. And if you can carry people, you can also carry cargo, which means a super fast delivery for people. Another way of getting packages fast from one part of the country to another will be by electric semi trucks being developed by Tesla. These semi trucks require a driver, but in the future we will see entirely driverless version of these and making deliveries and making the transportation cheaper. Also, these trucks will be good for environment because 25% of greenhouse gases come from the trucking industry. Though these ideas seem far-fetched and Ellen has planned to make them possible in the next 10 to 12 years, there is yet another way that Ellen plans to develop and that is transportation via Hyperloop. Elon Musk asks that when you think about new transportation system, what would you want ideally? You will want something that would cost half the price to travel, would be twice as fast, cannot crash and immune to weather. To make this possible, Ellen is working on the idea of Hyperloop, which will take about 12 minutes to travel from Dubai to Abu Dhabi and will also be powered by solar panels. There will be Hyperloop stations inside cities, making it easier and faster to travel. There are several Hyperloop routes being planned, and in the Ellen's future they will be a major subject of attraction. Ellen is constantly coming up with new ideas and innovative technologies that are astonishing. Apart from the ideas discussed above, let's inspect Ellen's futuristic city. Most people would imagine a future city to be full of flying cars and drones with state-of-the-art technology. But Ellen differs with this vision. In a TED interview, when he was asked about his vision for an exciting future, he rejected the idea of flying cars and drones, saying no one would like to see cars flying over us and creating all kinds of disturbances. Ellen is right in many ways. 
He said that one of the most soul-destroying thing is the traffic, and if there is traffic in air or cars that would block the view of sky, would be affected by weather and many other factors. That would not be an ideal future city you would want. To counter this traffic problem that takes away so much of our lives, he has planned to build a 3D network of tunnels. For this, he has founded a company named The Boring Company that would carry on the construction of tunnels. He believes the solution to the urban traffic is the network of tunnels that go deeper under the cities. He says, since you can always go deeper than you can go upwards, that the deepest mines are deeper than the tallest buildings. So we can have a network of tunnels that could go 20, 30 or 40 levels deep where cars could go up to 200 kilometers an hour as railings guide the car and your autopilot takes over when you enter the tunnel. But creating a tunnel is a slow and expensive process and will require the process of digging tunnels to be cheap than they are currently. The Boring Company is working on to make this a possibility with a new tunnel digger. Ellen says that the first thing that needs to be done is to cut down the tunnel size. Tunnels today need to be large allowing for crashes emergency and ventilation for gas-powered vehicles. Using self-driving electric cars that will shrink the size of tunnels can eliminate this. To make the digging process efficient, we need to build a faster digger one that can dig and reinforce the tunnel at the same time. This idea of building tunnels is safe and also a one that is would allow people to live peacefully. A trip from Westwood to Lax Airport which takes 30 minutes and can increase because of traffic will only take 5 to 6 minutes in a boring company tunnel. Ellen says that in the coming 10 to 12 years it will be unusual for cars to be built that are not fully self-driving as they are getting close to being 100 to 200 percent safer than a human driver. He says getting into a car would be just like getting into an elevator today and pushing a button. Electric cars all possible today today because of the falling prices of the lithium-ion batteries. Batteries are what Tesla's main expertise is in. Tesla is building gigafactories which make lithium-ion batteries along with other parts for Tesla cars. Ellen believes it would take a total of 100 gigafactories to give humanity enough battery capacity to go fully renewable. Currently, there are two gigafactories in the United States and one in China. Tesla has announced plans for another gigafactory in Germany. As our cities and lives would become electrified, everything will also be connected. This will be made possible by Starlink, a project by SpaceX which aims to launch nearly 12,000 satellites in the orbit which will provide internet all across the world and even in places where people don't have internet today. SpaceX launched the first batch of these satellites in May 2019, which Ellen in his very Ellen Musk announced by posting a tweet using these satellites. As of when this video is out, SpaceX has launched about 750 Starlink satellites into orbit and planning to deploy even more of them in a long-term vision of providing connectivity and internet to all. They will not only be deployed on Earth, but also will be deployed as a communication system around Mars. So far, we have discussed a lot of projects and visions of Elon Musk for his future city. Now let's look at how our lives would be like in one of Ellen's future city. The things will be a lot different in the future even where we get our food from. Ellen's brother Kimball Musk, who is a board member of Tesla and SpaceX is also the co-founder of Square Roots, a company that is building shipping container vertical farms in towns and cities, as this is a more feasible way of growing food. We would get our greens from farm to table in merely four hours and Kimball says that the tech being used today to farm food in climate-controlled city spaces will also be used on Mars. Imagine when you are dropped off at your office by your self-driving car. You will have more time to go to meetings and events because of time saved from driverless cars. So in a future city which would be a completely mind-boggling, what is going to be taught in school? How is the education going to be? Elon Musk believes the way children are taught in regular schools does not adhere to their needs. It is completely outdated in this new era of technology. 
for that he started his own school for his children and a few children of employees at SpaceX and is also on the SpaceX campus. It's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars. The founder of SpaceX and Neuralink believes that there is a fundamental element that the modern education system lacks, and that is problem solving. He explains this with an example. It's important to teach problem solving. Let's say you are trying to teach how engines work. Now, a traditional way is to teach all about screwdrivers and wrenches, which is a tough way to do it. A good approach would be like, here's an engine, let's take it apart, and how are we gonna do that? We need a screwdriver or a wrench for that. When we teach like this, something important happens. The relevance of the tools becomes apparent. And he is correct. The education of our new generation should be compatible with the advanced technology and scientific knowledge today. He breaks down education as downloading of data and algorithms into your brain. He wants to gamify the learning. If the learning is like a game, the more interesting it is to children. He also focuses on to explain why things are being taught as it makes an enormous difference in a child's motivation. At Ad Astra, they don't make kids go through grades like an assembly line, which is being done in many schools today as every child is unique and has their own capabilities and interests. The children should explore the non-traditional topics such as robotics and artificial intelligence, even studying the ethics of AI and also studying physics because it's best way of understanding our future. And also physics instills a skill of problem solving in you and especially the harnesses the shining process. In this future city, children and adults will spend their free rhyme playing crazy and fascinating video games that are unimaginable today. Ellen points this out that only 40 years ago, the most advanced game was Pong, which comprised a rectangle and a small ball. But today we have games with high graphics which very much resemble reality. People can play these multiplayer games from across the world, and in future it will be even more advanced. We would have VR sets and force feedback gloves. In the future we'll be playing inside games that will be indistinguishable from reality. Ellen says that we are building progressively greater intelligence and that the percentage of intelligence that is not human is increasing. Ellen says we can think of human as a biological bootloader for starting a digital superintelligence. So there need to be some merger which links biological intelligence with machine intelligence. Since in the future we will be too slow to keep up with AI and so we would have to develop or there will be a crisis in the future. To fix this problem, Elon Musk has come up with a technology of future Neuralink. He founded this company in 2016 and the company is making a chip that will be implanted in the brain allowing you to be linked with the computer. So far, a monkey has been able to control a computer with its brain. Neuralink is now petitioning to different authorities to start a human trial of this in the coming two years, which would give us superhuman powers of thinking and gaining information. Elon Musk's future city would differ greatly from the one we live in today. Many things will change, many would not. But one thing is sure we are in a golden age of technology and with the help of this technology we could improve our way of lives even more in the future. In a future where we could travel to any other city in the world within an hour where everything would run on batteries, not fossil fuels. A thousand satellites which would connect every part of the world and people. The rate of change of technology is incredibly fast and every new decade is one that no one had imagined in the previous decade. Elon Musk is very much motivated to work for long-term well-being of humans and to inspire many others of the new generation so that we could all advance as a civilization become a type 3 civilization. So what do you think about the amazing technologies and ideas we talked about? What do you think our future would be like? Let us know what you think and your ideas in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Click one of the videos to continue watching. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when we post new videos.